Hello, it is time to stop wasting your teenage slash 20 year old years. Um, so have fun. I don't mean to like make this video and say, oh, you know, don't have fun. Always be working, always be grinding towards your goals. But I am saying this to a very select few of people who are out there who want something out of their life and they want it young. These are, this is the audience that I am talking to right now. You are young and you want to either be rich or you want to, I don't know, be a famous football player, be a famous actor, whatever you want to do, you want to do it young or at least in your 20s and 30s, maybe even a little bit of 40s, sprinkle it in there. And you want to balance that life out. You want to balance and still have some fun, but you still want to grind and you still want to get to your goals. That's the type of people that I'm talking to right now. Because I feel like people get it mixed up sometimes when I'm saying like, oh, you know what, you yeah, you need to be always on your grind. No, you don't have to always be on your grind. You can have fun, but know when to lock in, twin. <laughs> no, but seriously, know when to go after your goals and know when it is time to buckle up. It is time for you to be aware of what you are doing. What is your focus on right now? What are you focused on? Are you focused on school? Are you focused on a boy? What is your intentions with your everyday living? What are you doing? Are you going to the gym? Are you working out? Are you X, Y, and Z? Right now, for a, a little bit of an example, right now, today, I literally have all of my stuff for me to go to the gym. But when I tell y'all today, I had hit my period and my period had hit me like a freaking bus. And not only can I, that's why I'm sitting down. That's why I've, I've been sitting down just doing schoolwork for the past few hours and working on a little bit of my content creation. Um, because like I, I want, I'm doing that as an example because there are some times when you physically cannot do certain things and you physically can't X and Y. Don't get on yourself about that. Don't get on yourself for having a day off because you work hard. I am a hard worker. Some days, eh, but majority of my time is spent working on my future and working on who I want to become and working on what I want to do and then the other rest of the time is spending time with my boyfriend that's literally it that's my life <laughs> um I have this optimistic mindset that I could be anything and do whatever I want with my life and throughout these past three years I have been able to see success in that and I've been able to get money online and I have been able to see success with a lot of different just platforms and things like that. And I'm starting now to try to find my niche again, which has been hard. It's like one of the hardest things. I think starting out in business is one of the hardest things. And once you find it, it's like once you find that one little thing that makes your content um, viral, take that bro and just run with it bro and then still continue to start new things but once you find that one thing just continue to go at it i'm getting so off track right now sorry y'all like i said i'm on my period but you need to figure out you need to reevaluate yourself what has what has been your intentions these past few days what is you what have you waking up and been like oh yeah i'm gonna get that done i'm gonna get that done i'm gonna get that done I'm going to be this person. I want to be a more person that goes to the gym. I want to be a higher version of myself. You need to figure that out. What do you want to do with your life? I'm not saying that you have to have it figured out by tomorrow. I'm not saying that you have to have it figured out in a month. Maybe the process of figuring it out is a more important journey than actually figuring it out. Because before I knew who I was, I, you could tell me anything and I'll be so easily influenced by it before anything like I was so easily influenced but once you find who you are and find that tunnel where like you can just look at it straight and you know what you want to do with your life nobody can stop you 
no relationship, no nothing. Nothing can stop you. That is when you are most powerful when you know yourself, which is, I don't know, just saying that doesn't, just saying that makes me just, ooh. I am so sorry that this episode is all over the place, y'all. I am all over the place in my mind and I have so many things that I want to give to y'all right now. But stop wasting time thinking about, oh, that might not work, so I'm not even going to try it. Do it. If you fail, you fail. If you liked it, wow, I'll try it again. I failed again. You know, you will never know until you try. Um, yeah, stop wasting time. Like, why do we... Why are we wasting time, y'all? You 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 can tell because you feel you feel a little guilty. You feel a little guilty when you've been wasting time. You'll feel not like yourself. You'll feel like you've been losing your potential. You'll feel it. And you'll be like, dang. You'll have this like thing in the back of your head telling you that you should be doing X, Y, and Z when you're not. Or maybe that's why you came over here so I could tell you it face to face. But I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video.